Welcome everyone, Marcelo is my name. I am the Niche Fragrance Collector. Hello everybody, my name is Laura and I am from T2M Sensory. And we are in the T2M Sensory showroom. There are perfumes all around me. <laughs> <laughs> it's very distracting. Literally. But I'm staying focused. If you could see, like if we could open up the shot, I mean, I got perfumes here. I'll even show you. Perfume, perfume, and there's more and more. <laughs> so there's perfumes all around me. But today we're going to focus on hidden gems. These are fragrances that are rock stars, just gorgeous, gorgeous perfumes but not many people are really onto it. Not many people are talking about them. So we wanna put them on the map for you guys. Have a look at these particular fragrances and see if they work for you. I'm super excited about this one. So am I. <laughs> I, love, I love this Hidden Gems because I, I, I get a bit... Hidden Gems are what we live for, isn't it? It it's is. Like, for those of you who, who are watching, who are starting your journey into niche perfumery, right. what happens is that it goes from, I like this, this, and this to, <sighs> I can appreciate everything now. And I, I, I'm wearing things that Correct. I thought that I would never wear before, Correct. and I'm loving it. Yep. And it's almost like when, what I say is when you're choosing a new fragrance, you want to go for something that's completely different to anything else that you right. have in your collection. Right. Because what it does to you is it lifts you up and it brings you to that new place and wherever you want to be. I find that when a fragrance challenges me from on that first spray, when it challenges me and I'm like, oh, I don't think this is for me, I've now realized that I'm like, this is the one that I got to put on my radar. Yeah. I want to start with Joyous or Smart. Yes. It is joy in a bottle right. and I have been, I'm so excited about this perfume. This is by Maison Rabachi. This is a new brand from Paris right. and they have a beautiful boutique there. One day soon we uh, hopefully will be able to go Please. and visit. Let let us out. <laughs> we promise that we will travel. Our Aussies are awesome travelers. We go all around. I mean, we're so far away from everything that we want to visit places, you know? Now, I love the bottle of this, yeah. first of all. Yeah, it's, it's absolutely beautiful. It's a fruity, yeah. floral, green fragrance. It's not mm. like Baby Toll, like mm. YSL fruity. How many fragrances have you come across that have stone fruit in the opening notes? Mm. So I was, I was, I'm getting, what, apricot? Peach? Apricot right. and nectarine. Beautiful. Man. So for me, this is the Riesling of the <laughs> inner perfume. You right. know, it's that, it, it's a huge winner. And this also has Osmanthus mixed with tuberose. Right. This is by Maurice Roussel, mm. who made Musk Ravager, which is one of the most popular fragrances in the Frederick Marl right. collection. Right. And this is a masterpiece. So Muhammad was actually saying, hey, I want to create a tuberose. Of course, we want a tuberose in the, in the collection. Now, Marie said, I've been working on a fragrance that combines Osmanthus. Osmanthus is a Chinese white flower right. and it smells a little bit like apricot right. with tuberose. And so this is something completely new. Mm, this is beautiful. This makes me want to frolic in the fields. This is very female leaning. Yes. Um, so as a male, if you like lighter fragrances, if you like more floral fragrances, mm. it would work perfectly on you. Uh, I think as a woman, this could be instant love. Yes. It's almost like the champagne of fragrances yeah, for me. It, it really has this beautiful, delicate, it's almost that that green sophistication with a little bit of fruitiness, those seductive flowers. Anytime I wear this, women actually comment a lot. Right. So women go, ooh, what is that? What are you wearing? I love that. This would be awesome as a, as a going out. This is definitely a, a spring. Yes. This is a joyous. I mean, on a sunny day would just be, just glorious to be wearing this particular fragrance. On opening, you're looking at nectarine, apricot, green leaves, cinnamon, and neroli. Then in the heart, you're looking at osmanthus, tuberose, orange blossom, jasmine, iris, honeysuckle, and rose. And then in the base, cashmerian, amber, cedar, and musk. I feel that this is a classic French perfumery with a twist. Right. And it reminds me a little bit of um, some Anique Goutal fragrances, right. but still, Again, modern, again, something that's new. And it like is sexy, it's feminine, It's it really does make me want to put on a pretty floral dress, yep, put yep. on a little sun hat and yep. frolic in the fields. <laughs> Next up, we have Bobo by Cana Barcelona. I'm a big fan of, of uh, Cana Barcelona. I had the privilege of being in Barcelona and actually walking into their actual boutique. boutique. <gasps> we had a, an Airbnb that wasn't far from there. I stumbled across it. Wow, um, it's you the one walked down? Got, yeah. yeah. Now, 
Kind of Barcelona has an exquisite range. There's, um, you will find a fragrance. So good. You will find a fragrance that belongs to you. I bought one, we'll, I'm gonna talk about it another time. Um, but this one here, this is Bobo. This is again female leaning. Yeah, this is the Mediterranean in a bottle. This is celebrating this cultural dance called Beautiful. Bobo. It's that spirit of the people, the sea, the brightness of summer, and good times with friends. Glorious. You know, it's a fresh citrus floral. There it is. So you've got the orange blossom, the neroli notes in there. This would be a glorious summer fragrance. On the top notes, we're looking at bergamot, mandarin orange, black currant. Then in the heart note, we're looking at African orange flower, lily of the valley, and Indian jasmine. And finally, in the base, musk, vetiver, and white amber. Clean, fresh, yep. citrusy. Yep. We have Wulong Cha. Can I just say, <laughs> <laughs> I love, with a capital L, maybe capital O, capital V, capital E, <laughs> this fragrance. Um, again, in the lineup, as uh, Laura was sharing these with me, um, I was intrigued by the name. I mean, what's that about? But this fragrance. Chinese tea. Man, woman, when I'm wearing it, I'm always getting compliments, yes. no exaggeration. Whenever I'm wearing it, the sillage on this is ex ex spectacular, extraordinary, really pushes out. Especially for a fresh citrusy tea fragrance, right. it has the best longevity. Mm. And now, this is often layered with other fragrances in right. the Nishane collection to add freshness right. to them, or alone, of course. My wife actually layers the uh, this one here with the tuberose. On the top note, you're looking at a bergamot, orange, mandarin, and lychee. In the heart you're getting a beautiful oolong tea with nutmeg then finally in the base is fig and musk i think this is the best tea fragrance Absolutely. that i have ever come across i don't actually like tea fragrances very much i'm going to be honest with you right. but i really like this one there's something special about this right. and i've been surprised at how many people whenever i show this to anybody it's a winner it's a winner like you had the same reaction uh, it's as a winner. another person that i know who, he literally was like oh, this I was is saying, something special i would say to laura off camera that when I get really, when I get, <laughs> I just can't shut up. And so I, Laura's speaking, but I'm just looking for my opportunity to jump in. Me too. I want to talk. <laughs> you need to test this one out. All right. Mm. So it is a light fragrance. So if you like um, orange blossom, um, citrus, uh, it has a lychee note in there, I think. There's yes. a fruit. And there's fig. And so if you like these kind of sort of, uh, just light, fruity, yeah. that black tea is playing a, a major role in this. Yes. This is one spectacular fragrance. The next one is Beso Passion. Yeah. <laughs> I absolutely love this fragrance. Right. This is the fig fragrance. Right. Um, you love fig fragrance. I, I really do. I know you do. I, I, and it, I haven't always loved fig fragrances. Right. It's in the last six months to a year that mm. I've absolutely gone mad for fig fragrances. Right. So, you so know, what is it about fig that you love? I think that fig for me, I love actually going to plants and trees and picking the flowers and scrunching them up in my hands right. and smelling the, the green botanical right. scent of that plant yeah. and, and just smelling flowers on the street. Like if there's any flowers, I will go up and smell them. So all her neighbors, now we know who it is, it's her. <laughs> Laura's the one that's, who's killing my roses? Oh, I'm not stealing them. No, I'm just, just smelling. <laughs> Not crushing them. Oh, okay, okay. No, the plants I crush, right. not the flowers. Right, right, right. I smell the flowers just to see what kind of scent they have. Mm. So Beso Beach are these beautiful Spanish bars and clubs, and you can sail sail around on these uh, Ibiza, Formentera. This is particularly yep. all about these Formentera figs. There are different kind of figs, and they're the largest type of figs that you can get. They're huge, mm. juicy, delicious figs. And it's woody. I'm getting this the fig. This is so woody. Yeah. So yeah. this has Akagala wood in it. Right. So we, we mentioned that before. Yep. In previous um, video. Yes. And this is what makes this fragrance so unique. Mm. So it's woody, but it's green. It's got green tea. But it's not overly green. So Laura loves uh, this other fragrance called Hito. Yes. And that is also a fig fragrance. Hello. Yes. That's, that's way more green. That's very green. Whereas this one here, I'm getting a fig, more woodiness from the base coming through. 100%. Is Beautiful. Really popular for men. Yeah. Not just. Oh yeah. Women. I was gonna say easy unisex. I haven't tried this on my skin, mm. but I think on the skin this would be amazing. I do love fig fragrances. My thing with fig is I want it to be less green, and this is this is the answer. Less to it. green. Yeah. 
There's no other fig fragrance I've smelled like this. So on the top notes, we're getting bergamot, lemon, a bit of orange, cardamom, and a ginger absolute. Then in the heart, fig, cedar from Virginia, green tea. Then in the base, akigala wood, white amber, musk, vetiver from Haiti, and cistus absolute. So yeah, cistus is the resin, which also gives that woody warmth right. to it. But yeah, you've got the glorious. ginger. Right. Now you can smell the say, ginger. Yeah, funny. When you, 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 got, you are getting that ginger coming through too. Actually, really, this is a... It's very complex. Uh, the fig is definitely the, the I guess, the, the, the hero. hero. Yeah, of the of the fragrance. The next one is an underdog in the Naomi Good Sir collection, Eau de Serai. Right. This is my favorite in the collection, and if you love tobacco fragrances, I think that this this has been done by uh, some of the best noses in Paris as one of the best tobacco fragrances on the market today. Right. It really goes on a journey, and it, I, you have to put this onto your skin. Yep. Um, it is, there's, you, you, you have to put it on skin. You, All can't, right. you can't not. I, I need to jump in now. I did not like this fragrance when I sprayed it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you would be among many. All right, and I actually tried to say to Laura, can we try something else? Can we look at, and she's like, no, it's gonna be this one. And, and I pushed back a little, but yeah, but, 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 and she's like, no, no, you need to have this one. Anyway, I put it on skin. Mm -hmm. And on opening is, is what I'm getting now. It's very high fruity notes coming yes. through. Yes, yes. This is the smell of the Sultan's Harem, the shisha, the right. smell of this fruity shisha pipe and right. tobacco. So what happens, yes, this opens with berries and apple and mango and coconut and all of these delicious things. Mm. As this settles, yeah. it becomes, it's a fruity tobacco. The magic is in the dry down. A hundred percent. So what I found, now I've, those who have been following my channel know that my I'm not a big fan of fruity openings. Um, uh, I, I do like fruit in or fruit notes in the fragrance. But an overkill on it, I'm like, oh, not for me. Now, this one here, as Laura just explained, is a very distinct fruity opening. However, on the dry down, now I've also realized that sometimes fragrances need to have an overkill on some early notes because as they dry down and begin to then mingle with those base notes, mm. it then gives it something else. On the dry down, this is gorgeous, spectacular. I love tobacco scented fragrances. I love that the more heavier sort of woodier notes, but those heavy fruits at the start is now giving it a honeyed kind of fruity. It was a tobacco that I've never smelled before. Mm. Let's put it that way. The tobacco is really prevalent on the dry down. It right. becomes more of a tobacco focused fragrance, Correct. which you won't understand in the beginning when you first spray the fragrance. Correct. But there is something um, golden and voluptuous and uh, moorish about this on the skin. You know, I mentioned at the very beginning, and I'm glad I did, and that is that the fragrances that challenge me the most are the ones that I know that I need to stop and consider and, and allow them to play. So again, on skin, mm. this was, and to the point where I kept coming back to it. Yeah. I'm like, hang on a second, whoa my gosh, this is really. This is signature for Naomi's right. line. All of her fragrances are quite niche, quite avant-garde, yes. and yes. they are striking. And I love the fact that Naomi's originally Australian. She She's an now based and resides in, in Paris, yeah. but she is originally She's an, an Australian self-taught milliner right. as well. Right. On opening, you're looking at mango, red berry, apple, sweet orange. In the heart is rum, coconut, mate tea, lang lang, artemisia, sage, geranium. And then finally in the base, honey, tobacco, beeswax, vanilla, amber, oak tree, labdanum, cedar, musk. Nice, rich base. A really complex tobacco. And if you, I know that tobacco fragrances are very popular for a lot of people, but this is an underdog. So yeah. I think, give it a go. Hidden see how gem. You think. Hidden gem. Hidden gem. Patchouli Cosa. Now. So I voted for this one. Yeah. I, I um, uh, on, upon first meeting with Laura, uh, she was very gracious and gave me a sample of different Nishanes. And this one here, it just it just really like the other ones are beautiful um I'm, they they are familiar this one here i found it was unique don't be scared of this fragrance Correct. because it has patchouli in the yeah. in, in the beginning and patchouli can be a little bit uh not polarizing but some people are like oh i don't do patchouli i think uh, it's very polarizing right okay yeah. all right well, i do you. i i i think that 
there are if you mention there is patchouli in a fragrance people back off people back off right yeah 100 percent right. it but the, the on the on the flip side there's people who literally go give me that patchouli so now there's a fragrance out there called psychedelic by javoy um it is a again it's a celebration of patchouli i'm gonna put this in as a challenger to that fragrance the, the, if you like patchouli, if you are familiar with that psychedelic, I, I, I encourage you to go and test this one out because this is one unique, and I'm not getting, so I know that psychedelic has a bit of a musky patchouli. I don't get that in this one here. No. This is a little bit more about leather as well. Right. So it's patchouli and leather. And... Because funny, I'm, there's something else I'm like, I can get the patchouli, but now that you said the leather, yeah. So this is inspired by Russian leather. Right. So at the at the bottom of the bottle, we've got Moscova. So we've got M Moscow mm. here. So this, it's love at first sniff. Yeah. And this I, yeah. I relate to also more leather tobacco-y fragrances. Right. Maybe if somebody is, is a fan of 1740 by Histoire de Parfum, mm. they might also like this. This is rich. It's it's almost beast mode, but in a really elegant, sophisticated way. Actually, be, this is it. Yeah, I definitely, I would put this for those beast mode addicts out there. This is definitely a beast mode fragrance. And and I've worn it on, mm. it, it actually lasts quite a while. It it holds its, um, its intensity. Um, I think I might need to get this one for Michele. And the projection on this. Yeah, well, right. Because exactly. I'm just loving it. Because I would like to smell this on a man. It's a gorgeous, it's gorgeous fruit. Top notes on this, chamomile, artemisia, hyacinth, ylang, ylang Then in the heart, you're looking at patchouli and black pepper. Finally in the base, honey, incense, and leather. I love honey in a fragrance. Yeah, me too. It's sweet, but it, it still has a little bit of, I don't say animalic, but it, there's something else different in there. It's not a, it's not a, it's not a fruit sweet. I think if you also like tobacco fragrances, yeah, this, is this is a this really is great, it. and it doesn't have the sweetness and the, the fruit that Orosarai has. Right. That's it. Hidden gems. You need to come and check out these particular fragrances. They are exceptional. They're really diverse. Not a lot of people are talking about them, so we were hoping to put them out there. Yeah. To, yeah. Go out and explore. Fragrance Artisan is sponsoring or supporting my channel. NFC5 is the code. 5% discount on any of their fragrances in their range. Also jump across to our Instagram page and you'll see that T2M have been very gracious to give us 20 samples from their collection as a giveaway for you guys. Well, this is the last pack. So we've already given away three of those packs. Last pack, good luck to the, uh, the lucky person out Amazing. there. Amazing. Thank you again. Thank you. We'll see you on the next episode.